Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Emmy Broker tutorial videos. Um, in this one, I just really wanted to show you how to set your position sizing if that's something that you wanted to do in one of your back tests. And it's a really cool thing because as most people know, or they most people will find out over the course of their trading careers, position sizing can be one of the most important things in your trading and investing. In fact, um, even more important than your buy and sell rules or your entry and exit rules. So this this can be a massive, massive thing. And I just wanted to show you how to, to add it to one of your back tests if you really wanted to do that. So let's just jump straight into our analysis uh, formula editor. So if we go up the top here and analysis formula editor, what we get is our blank sheet of paper. So if we get this blank sheet of paper, we can add any of our rules to it. But what I'm going to show you in particular is the position sizing rules. So where do we start? Well, first of all, in fact, let's just take one really quick step back because if we go into our, into our analysis, uh, uh, automatic analysis window and we if we click settings it will actually show us what we can change using a tiny little bit of Ami Broker formula language. Let me give you a quick example because this is the first thing we're going to start with and if we just click on portfolio here it says max open positions. So in other words we want really we want to set our maximum open positions to be you know only a certain amount. We don't if we don't want to use uh, if we don't want to use margin or you know or borrowed leverage or whatever, then we're going to have to set it to be the same as our position sizing. So we don't use more than a hundred percent of our equity. Now, if that just sounded like a whole bunch of gibberish, let me show you what I mean. Max open positions. That is what we're looking at here. And if we go back to here we go. So we can simply set an option. And as soon as we type in set option, then that goes blue and that means that Ami Broker recognizes it. So if we put our first bracket, it'll also show us what, what set option is expecting. So it expects a name in brackets um, and that name will coincide with our max open positions all one word, all in brackets, then a comma, and our value. So how many open positions do we want? Let's say for the sake of this, we want 5% of our equity on each trade, and therefore we want 20 open positions at one time. We close the bracket, we put a little semicolon at the end to close the, uh, the details there, and happy, happy days. Now, next, if we also want to set our, I think it's set position sizing. No, no. Set position size. There it is. Yes. <laughs> so that goes blue as well. Um, so set position size. And if we put our little bracket again, it'll, it'll show us what it's expecting. So first of all, it's expecting the size. Now, I, as we said, 5% of our total equity on each trade. So five. Easy, easy, easy. And a comma. Now, it says that it defaults to percent of equity, and that's exactly what we want to use. Now, if you jump to the Ami Broker site, it'll show you a few different other methods for doing position sizing, but we want SPS uh, percent of equity. And as you can see, it goes bold there, so that means that Ami Broker has recognized it. And that means that it recognizes it as a real thing, which is great for us because it means that our code is likely to work. And then we close the bracket, we put a little semicolon at the end there, and that is our position sizing. Now, if we wanted to test this out, uh, let's just do some buy and sell rules. Uh, let's say buy equals a close above or equal to a moving average. Uh, open the bracket and our array is the closing price. And our range is uh, blah, 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 200. So a 200 day moving average. And then our sell rules will be a close uh, less than or equal to a moving average of the closing price. And what will that be? What? 100? 100 day moving average? Let's try that. 
Now, what we need to do is we need to check this bad boy and make sure that it works. So we go to our pretty colored uh, little analysis thing here and we go check. And this window comes up. That's exactly what we want. Because if it didn't come up, it would tell us that there was an error. And uh, yeah, so basically that's happy days. We will save this as... What will we save it as? We'll save it as... Awesome position sizing. Save. Perfect. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We'll go back to our analysis window. Ba -ba 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 Boom. We will pick the one that we want to pick. And what was it called? Awesome, ana awesome analysis. Uh, awesome position sizing. There it is. <laughs> cool. Gosh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> we'll edit it just to make sure it's the right one. Yes, it is. Happy days. Now, we can use our filter. We can uh, filter out the stocks that we want to use. I've got a top 200 backtest list that I that I just use for my back tests. Let's say we want to uh, back test it over the last 13 years from 2000 to 2013. And then last but not least, we just press back test. So as you can see, it takes, oh, it, that took like two seconds to do. We'll do a little report, click on report there, and that will give us our, uh, our um our values so that's actually <laughs> that returned 529 percent over the last uh, 13 years and an average of 15 percent per annum actually that's not too bad <laughs> that's actually not too bad how about that um but i mean look at this the winners were 14 percent um so we only won 14 percent of the time so not a lot of people could stomach that kind of thing and if we just have a look at our equity curve in charts, uh, that's a decent equity curve except for 2008 where we had probably a 45% drawdown. So <laughs> again, not many people could stomach that, um, but I can't believe how well that actually worked. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, if you added an index filter in there, um, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video as well, but if you added an index filter, um, so in other words, if you weren't buying when the index was below its 200 day moving average, for example, then that would potentially get rid of that little dip there and we might see a bit more gains there as well, which is really cool stuff. Um, just getting rid of that, as you can see, in 2000, um, we were making many, many trades as they appeared. And uh, so it was limited to 20 open positions at one time and 5% of our total equity on any one trade. And that's how you set position sizing. Happy days. All right, guys, that's enough from me. I've bored you long enough. Time for you to go out into the world and use this in your own trading. Awesome. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Happy trending and bye for now.